Hello everyone in the cluster parishes, St. John, Sacred Heart, St. James, guess what? It's Advent. So Father Emmanuel and I, we're here to give you a little Advent message and to hopefully get excited. The wisdom of the church says that it's better when we get excited together. Or maybe you've heard that phrase that says that joy when shared, it's doubled and sorrow when shared is cut in half. The season of Advent is upon us. It's a season of expectation and waiting. And as the body of Christ, we should be in this together to pray for each other and with each other uh, and to journey with each other in the celebrations of the church, uh, but also in the reflections that we have uh, and the activities that we have, the things that we can do on our own that can be pleasing to the Lord. But those build up the community. So this is truly a journey of the community. As a community, let's now pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, you have given to us the gift of your Son, Jesus, present in our lives. God, we thank you not only for his birth in time and the history now that the church shares as boldly proclaiming to be the body of Christ in the world, but we thank you as well for the promise of his second coming that gives us reason for confidence and reason for hope. Lord, we ask you to fill us with hope as we embark on this Advent journey. For we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the season of, of Advent is a devout and joyful preparation for the coming of Christ. Advent from the Latin word adventum simply means waiting or coming. Now the question is, who are we waiting for? And the obvious answer is waiting for Jesus Christ. But we have to wait in. So we are waiting for Christ as an infant, which we celebrate on Christmas Day. We are also waiting for Christ as a king to come and judge us at the end of time. That is the second coming of Christ. This first week of Advent, the theme is hope. And I want to share with you this legendary story of St. Jerome. It is said that St. Jerome, on the night of Christmas, the eve of Christmas, he was in Bethlehem, sitting at the grotto, just contemplating on the infant Jesus. There and there, the infant Jesus appeared to St. Jerome with dazzling light, and the infant Jesus said, St. Jerome, what are you going to give me for my birthday. Jerome said, Infant Jesus, I would, I would give you my heart. The infant Jesus said, Yes, uh, I want your heart, but I want something more. What are you going to give me? St. Jerome said, Oh, okay, I'll give you all my life. The infant Jesus said, Yes, that's good, but I want more. St. Jerome said, Infant Jesus, I don't know what to give you. What again do you want? And the infant Jesus said, St. Jerome, I want you to give me your sins so that I may pardon them all. My dear friends, and this is the hope we celebrate the first Sunday of Advent. The hope that a Savior is coming to redeem us from our sins. The hope that all is not lost. The hope that things will get better. The hope that we are given a period to prepare ourselves, even as we wait for the second coming of Christ. This is the hope we celebrate the first week of Advent. So the first week of Advent, that candle has a theme to it of hope. Now, two scripture passages that are favorites of mine. That come to mind are this our Romans Father six. <laughs> we should know better. Romans eight twenty four. Okay. Romans eight twenty four and Saint Paul writes to this community in Rome and says that we are saved in hope. We are saved in hope, which tells us that hope has uh, an activity to it. We proclaim the mercy of God. We proclaim the salvation that God offers to us. But our response is not, to, it's not a, a shut door or a closed book. It's, a, it's an open book. Right? It's an activity that we need to do because we are being saved in hope. 
while we are being saved, we are practicing hopefulness. The other scripture that I particularly love uh, comes from the book of Hebrews, or the letter to the Hebrews, which is Hebrews 6.19. Hebrews 6.19, which says, We have this hope as the anchor of our soul. Maybe you've seen a scripture verse about, or, or just the theme of hope, and depicted with an anchor. Well, that comes from uh, the letter to the Hebrews, which says we have this hope as the anchor of our soul. And what a beautiful image there, that even though life rocks us around, that hope actually helps us to, to stay put. So it's an activity that gives us movement, right? But it's also, it's a firmness that helps us to stay put when we are, well, whatever it might be, we're, we're shaken, we're tossed up by the storms of life, we're, we're beaten up by the, the struggles of every day, and hope helps us to stay firm um, because we are waiting God's promise of salvation. Okay, so as we finish our first video here, we want to invite an activity, and an activity that you'll bring with you to church on Sunday. So we'll have a place for you to, uh, to come and to bring on a small piece of paper and to write. We want to write two things. On one side is to write a, a bit of a hope of a, or, or a wish or a prayer. What are you hoping for in the coming year? Or in this season, it could be it could be both and uh, Christmas time, the month of December is is a quite a season unto itself. So, what do you hope for? And can you just write a few words? So, on one side, I'm hoping for. On the other side, it's going to be something that you're going to do for the Lord. Okay, a decision that you're going to make. Right? Maybe an activity. God, I want to offer this, like God's invitation. The infant Jesus asking Saint Jerome, "What do you what do you offer to me?" Um, well, what can you offer to God this season? And can we make those part of a prayer? Again, so write that, or write that out or come prepared. We'll have a place for you to put those when you come to church on Sunday, and then that's going to become part of our journey together. And now, Father, if you would close us in prayer. Okay. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this season of Advent, a time for us to prepare for this wonderful gift of salvation we pray that you would make us realize that our lives are in your hands give us the grace to partake joyfully in these activities in this season of advent and make our prayer through christ our lord amen amen the father, father son, son the holy spirit amen happy advent